If you're looking to build your first website using Squarespace, but you aren't sure where or how to start, you've clicked on the right video. This quick guide will walk you through all the essential steps to build your Squarespace website from scratch. The first step is signing up for Squarespace. You'll find a special sign-up link in the video description that offers a 14-day free trial and an exclusive 10% discount on any Squarespace plan. Be sure to use that link to save some money. Once here, click on Get Started. Then tell Squarespace the type of website you'd like to build and the goal of your website. Next, choose between selecting a website template or using the new Squarespace Blueprint feature to build your custom template. In this video, we'll start with a pre-designed template, so let's select this option. Now you can explore a variety of website templates, each optimized for different types of websites. You can preview each template by clicking on Preview. And when you find one that you like, click on Start with this design. Now let's create your Squarespace account. After logging in, name your website, then click Next and get started. Now you are in the Squarespace editor where you can start customizing your website. Click on Edit to get into the page editor. Each page consists of multiple sections and within these sections there are blocks, which are just different types of elements on your page. To edit this text block, simply click on it and change the text. You can also move this block by dragging it to another position within the section. To add new blocks, just click on Add Block. For instance, let's add a button block and move it below the text. Then click on the Edit icon if you want to make adjustments to this block. It works the same way for every block on the page. So for instance, to edit the images beneath our text, just click on the gallery block, then on Edit Gallery, and here you can replace the images. To add a new section to the page, click on Add Section. You can begin with a blank section or choose from any of the pre-designed sections. And you can edit all of the blocks the same way as before. Now let's add a new page to our website. Click Save, then Exit. Now under Website, you can see all the pages that are currently in the main navigation menu on the top right. You can add a new page by clicking on the plus icon. Then for example, let's add an events page. Select a layout here. Then name the page. And now this new page is created and also appears in the navigation menu. To reorder the menu, just go back one step and then drag and drop any page to a different position. To make changes to any page, just select it here and then click Edit to get into the page editor for this specific page. Now let's make changes to the header and footer of the website. First, click on Edit for any page. Then at the top, click on Edit Site Header. Here you can upload your logo and under Elements, you can add more items to the header like for example, a button or social media links. To edit the website footer, just scroll down and click on Edit Footer. The footer area works just like the other sections on the page, so we can add new blocks and edit them the exact same way. Now let's look at the overall style settings. Exit the editor and click on the Side Styles icon at the top right. Under Fonts, we can apply different font combinations. These are called Font Packs. Or under Global Text Styles, you can also choose the exact font you want for your headings, paragraphs and so on. Now let's go back one step and also take a look at our website colors. Just like with our fonts, we can try out different pre-made color palettes to find the style we're looking for. 
Then in the animation settings, you can add an animation to all of the blocks on the website. This animation will be shown whenever visitors change pages or simply when they scroll down on any page. That's all for the style settings, so let's close this menu. Before launching, you want to make sure that your website also looks good on mobile devices. So let's switch to the mobile view. Then here, go through all of the pages and make sure everything is positioned correctly. Now it's time to publish your new website. So let's go to settings, then site availability. And now to be able to publish our site, we first need to choose a Squarespace plan. So click on upgrade to publish. Here you can select your plan. The personal plan is suitable for simple websites with basic features. The business and commerce plans have more features and also allow you to sell products on your website. So choose your plan. Then if you decide to pay annually, you can save some money and you'll also get a free domain. Here enter your payment details and click on save and continue. And on the next step, make sure to use the promo code MADIX10 for an additional 10% discount. Then click on confirm payment. Now let's get your domain, which is the name of your website. Go to settings then domains and click on get a domain. Enter your desired domain name and proceed to checkout. Then just follow the prompts. And now the new domain will be automatically connected to your website. Now you're finally ready to publish your website. So go to settings, site availability, Set it to public and click save. Now our new website is live.